everybody. Um, all right. So I had one of these already in the mix to do, and then this happened for real. Um, the other recording I did that I hadn't edited it or anything, got it ready for you guys, um, was a kind of a tester canvas. Um, a canvas that I wasn't going to use. However, tonight, my kids were fighting and I was trying to deal with them and concentrate and I was trying to flatten out my stickers having forgot that I had already flipped this up to start it. Um, so as you can see, this happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now you're getting the real deal. Uh, the video on a canvas I really do want to keep and I do need to use. This is a Christmas present for my mother-in-law. So I am going to show you um, a couple different techniques that you can use if this happens to you. If you get paper on your canvas, don't panic. It is okay. Everything will be fine. You will get it off. It will go back to the previous condition that it was. So, um, on this half, I'm going to do one thing, and on this half, I'm going to do the other. The first half, I'm going to do what's, what most of you already know, which is wipes, okay? So, you just want to take the wipes, and as you can see, when I'm kind of going over it with the wipe, you can already see how it is. Let me bring you down. How it's coming off. The paper is falling apart. And all of those pieces of the paper are coming up. That is what you want because when, as we all know, when paper gets wet, it disintegrates. That's what we want it to do. Um, one thing that I do suggest is while you are picking this up, when you get a good amount of these paper um, partial things, pick them up because otherwise you are going to get them restuck onto another spot on your canvas. Um, I'm trying to find my actual good tweezers here. There they be. Okay. Yeah. So you want to you know, get, pick them up, get them away from your canvas so that they don't get restuck and that you just, you know, end up doing this whole thing over and over and over again. Because even though there is a, a way out, it's still frustrating and they're still, even though like I know I've, i done, you know, I did this on purpose. Um, I know there's a lot of ways that this can come up. You still have that like half second of panic of, oh my gosh, what did I just do? Um, so yeah, one thing is when you're pulling up the paper, like once you know it's on there and you kind of like start panicking, you're like, well, if I pull it up really slowly, no, just yank it up. There is absolutely no way that the paper is not going to stick unless it's like, you know, vinyl or plastic or something like that. If it's paper, it's going to stick. So just do yourself a favor. Don't worry and give yourself, you know, more anxiety, more stress by trying to pick it up easily. Um, just pick it up. Let the paper get stuck. That's, you know, it's okay. Take a breath and relax because you will get through this. You will get your canvas back to the um, condition it was prior to this. Because um, honestly, if I didn't know this technique... Prior to having this happen, I probably would have freaked out because I just got this and um, it is a gift for my mother-in-law and I really don't want to have to go and try to get it again. So, um, okay, now this is the first technique, like I said, with the paper towel. I don't want to speed this up because I want you guys to see like in real time how long it actually takes me to get um, all of the paper off the canvas. So I'm getting close on this side because like I said, I'm going to do something different on this side. Um, something that you guys all guarantee to have around your house. Not everybody has baby wipes. Not everybody has babies anymore and those I don't, but I have baby wipes around the house because I use them for a lot of different things. Um, but not everybody does. And 
If you don't, though, you should, because I tell you, if you have kids, I don't care what age they are, they spill things. Actually, adults spill things, and baby wipes are amazing for getting stains and things out of your carpet. Um, so, yeah, okay, so you can see all of this paper residue, uh, all those little fibers right there on my desk. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick those all up, get them away from my canvas. Uh, and then the other thing when you are working on this, hold on, let me just move those over real quick, get them out of the way, off of my work area. Okay, so the other thing when you're doing this is after you've done this and you realize, oh my gosh, there's, it's not sticky at all anymore, what am I going to do? Don't panic again. Wait. Because the sticky, I promise you, will come back. Um, you don't have to do this step, but I sometimes will get a magnifying glass and uh, kind of go over it to make sure all of those little uh, paper fibers are picked up because you might not see all of them, you know, if you're not up nice and close to it so uh, yeah so okay so now that we have this side pretty much good and done there might be a few paper fibers that I need to um, go over and pick up but I want to get to that other side so that I can show you the other um, technique that you don't need any wipes or baby things or or you know makeup wipes nothing it's um, yeah, so let me, I'm going to pause and go grab that because like I said, this was not a planned video for today um, because I was going to actually pull this out to start to work on it. Uh, so I was very irritated and frustrated with myself, with my kids, <laughs> and um, but you know, now I've got some some real content on a painting I actually need so let me go and grab that and I will be right back okay guys I am back what I have here is a basic plain dish towel you can use any kind of a towel that is um, kind of a smooth surface get it nice and wet and this towel is going to do the exact same thing as a baby wipe would do. Um, I was watching another video prior to making this one. And I was thinking, you know, um, not everybody has wipes. And you don't always want to wait to get that paper off until you can, you know, get to the store and get some wipes. And I'm thinking, well, what is it about the wipes that gets the paper off? Well, it's because it breaks down the fibers of the paper and it's the water. It's the water in the wipes. It's not actually the wipes. It's just the water. So obviously you don't want to use like a paper towel because uh, paper, but a real towel, um, a terry cloth towel like the one I'm using. This is a basic, um, just a dish towel. I find to be the best. Um, you could also use like a nice t-shirt, like a white nice t-shirt and get it nice and wet and start going over this to get all of these um, paper fibers up and off of your canvas because you don't want them there. No more paper. And again, I don't want to uh, speed this, oh, come on now, process up because I really want you guys to see how long it actually will take. Now, Granted, sometimes you get a paper that is a lot smaller than this on your canvas and it's not going to take you a whole lot of time to get that off. And then there's other people who have their whole thing open and you put down, I've seen people, um, like they've had this whole plastic piece off 
and they have put down the entire inventory sheet over it and they have an entire 8 by 11 I think is the paper size um, piece of paper stuck to their canvas and honestly if I didn't know this move I'd panic and probably cry I've seen I saw somebody the other day um, it broke my heart because she was almost done with a piece that was a 60 by 80 it had taken her three months to complete it was a gift uh, for her grandmother and in the last square section she had done she happened to get paper on it and she wrote um, you know is this canvas ruined do I have to start over um, somebody please help and so luckily uh, we have this community with the Facebook groups and everything that we can really help each other because, you know, when you're new especially, there's so much you can learn techniques that are going to help you throughout uh, your diamond painting experience. And so it's great to have, you know, diamond painting family to help you get through that experience. So. Um, so basically, as you can see, this side with the plain towel came up just as well as this side with the baby wipes. Um, and so don't worry about going out and getting baby wipes if you have done this. Just get your basic, you know, kitchen towel, get it nice and wet. Um, I did it on the other video that I, I did. I might even put that with this one. We'll see. But what I did was I used a spray bottle and I actually sprayed the surface down first and then I went over it with a wet cloth. That way it was really nice and wet um, and I made sure to get off all of that paper because, you know, if you leave paper on it, you're going to lose some of that sticky. So, this is the sticky on this is already starting to come back as you can see and it's only been like I don't know five to ten minutes over here we're still nice and smooth but that's okay because it's gonna come back here real shortly so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pause the camera for about ten minutes and let this sit and really get a good dry um, and then I will come back and I will show you um, how basically it's like it never happened so I will see you guys in about 10 minutes. All right, you guys, it's been about five or so minutes and um, I am gonna raise up my camera just a little bit so that you guys can see that a whole area, this is where that paper was. Um, the spot over here, we used the wipes and the spot here, we just used a wet cloth to get it off. And as you can, as you can see, by that it is back to its original stickiness um i mean i can it's yeah it's see it's nice and sticky again you don't lose that stickiness um when this happens so if you get paper onto your canvas don't panic take a breath get some wipes or get a wet rag and you will be okay, I promise. So, that is it for this video. Um, and don't forget, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And with that, make sure you keep on shining. Bye, guys.